city people got their hands dirty when the rural games descended on Manawatu today. Founded in 2015 and run in Queenstown for the past two years, the games are being held in Palmerston North this year. They were kicked off in the city's square today and events including cow pat throwing and speed milking ensured it's going to be an action-packed weekend for locals and those who have travelled to participate in the games. RNZ's rural reporter Alexa Cook is there amongst the excitement. The quiet town of Fielding was not so quiet today. It's the first day of the rural games, and what better way to kick it off than with 1,000 sheep dashing 500 metres through the middle of town. Thousands turned up for a morning of rural races and the running of the wolves. First up was a wool fadge relay race, where the police, air force, defence force, the turbo rugby team and high school students stuffed sacks full of wool and carried it across 50 metres. The captain of the police team, Alan Lynch, was pleased that his team came out on top. Yeah, we've put a lot of hard work into this, you know, a lot of weeks training and stuff leading up to this, so it was, um, it was good to beat the fire guys since we're up against them. So. Have you actually been training? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> person higher level up in the police force told me I had to come down here and do it. This was followed by a man and mutt race, where 22 of the region's fastest young farmers belted up and down Manchester Street in gumboots with their dogs. Tom Nicholl from Hunterville and his dog Bo easily beat the rest of the field, despite not training for the event. No, nah, none at all. Just running around the hills in Hunnamal. Looks like you've pretty much swung them though, so you must have had a fair bit of training. Do you keep pretty busy up in Hunnamal there, doing plenty of running on all those hills there? So. Margaret Cavallis is the chair of the New Zealand Rural Games Trust and says the event has a wider aim than just entertaining. The aim of the Rural Games is to give back something of our legacy to the next generation. I really think that we're, we're unique as, as New Zealanders and people often say what is it that makes us Kiwi? Well I think a lot of that comes from what rural values. We, that modesty that sits under our great athletes, that's all part of the modesty that I experienced and have for years around rural New Zealand. So these games actually represent more than just games, they represent a rural way of life and they represent values. Today is the warm up for the next two days of rural games in Palmerston North Square. There will be some serious events such as a national and trans Tasman championship for speed sharing and fencing, wood chopping, gumboot throwing and wine barrel racing. And for spectators who just want to have a go, they can try their hand at anything from egg throwing to tree climbing and coal shoveling to olive stone spitting. For Checkpoint, from Fielding, Alexa.